Living in the mountains of southern West Virginia, coal mining is a part of our way of life. We see in the scenery every day, in the coal camp houses many of us still live in, and in the people that we know and love that work in them. Still, it's far from a safe job, with hazards coming up from every angle deep underground. On the 10th anniversary of the Upper Big Branch mine accident, we are reminded just how deadly the profession can be. On Monday afternoon, April 5th, 2010, an explosion ripped through the Upper Big Branch coal mine in Montcalm, West Virginia, killing 29 miners and injuring two. The rescue and recovery effort lasted days after the blast. Among those who could not escape was Adam Morgan, a 21-year-old who attended Pineville Middle School. Hello, this is Adam Morgan's mother. Just a few words to describe what a wonderful kid Adam was when he was growing up. He loved the outdoors and family, hunting, fishing, trail riding. He wanted to be like his dad and he went to WVU into mine and engineering. He came out and went into the mines at UBB. Four months later, when the disaster struck, the mines blew up from methane. Although mine safety has come a long way since 2010, there is still a lot that can be done to protect our miners. After speaking with a mine expert, we learned that these detectors are available that they are worn by some miners, but not all. We decided to build a cheaper chargeable device that can be worn by each miner. Underground to detect the levels of methane that will cause an explosion, the device will warn whether with a red light or in a siren. We would like to further our design by adding coding that will allow the device to record and upload data. We are looking into ways to possibly chain warnings to the surface when something goes wrong, as there is currently no communications from underground to the surface as waves cannot pass through the thick rock. We designed many prototypes of cases. Getting the measurements and dimensions took many, many tries. Being new to the 3D printing world, we tried many programs and ideas to figure out what was the best to meet our needs. We 3D printed our best prototypes. We are also using robotics to put detectors on our wheels that can be driven ahead of the miners to detect problems before entering an area. This is still a work in progress, but we still plan to continue to develop this technology. He was so very well liked. He had many, many friends. And we all miss and love him so very much.